this fisherman is Earhart Mettler. A good cast. And a good catch. A two-pounder. But even when Earhart Mettler is not fishing, he can come up with a good catch. The single arm analytical balance. That was in 1946. The new principal wins the enthusiasm of a designer, Hans Meyer. He helps to get the idea ready for production. The birthplace of the Mettler balance is Küsnacht, near Zurich, Switzerland. From this little workshop, the baby takes its first steps. How will it be accepted by the chemists? The New Balance doesn't have an easy time of it. Institutes of technology are always critical of new methods. As was to be expected, the older generation is skeptical. But the younger chemists take a liking to the Young Balance right from the start. Mettler Balance proves its value in practice and soon wins faithful friends. Some of these friends are students from abroad. That's how the Mettler Balance became internationally known. All over the world it was the younger generation of chemists that went to bat for the new idea. Here's another little episode from that early period. A businessman from abroad has heard of the Mettler balance and wants to make a deal for an exclusive agency in his home territory. But what kind of a balance could come out of a hut like that? That was over 10 years ago. Mettler's new plant in Stefa, Switzerland. It's already grown to over 250 employees. One arm beam is still the hallmark of the Mettler balance. Let's follow this beam as it starts out into life. While still a crude piece, it gets a thorough checkup. Then it gets some needful going over, outside and inside.
now it's due for a series of baths. After a good scrubbing, it gets a white dress that will fit and stay put after a Turkish bath. go further on its path in life, the beam now needs good shoes that get carefully fitted. This baggage will give the beam the needed poise. Finally, it's ready to get its passport for travel abroad. Hold on a moment. It still needs a visa. Does this checking room remind you of a waiting line at a foreign consulate? At last, all's well that ends well. Before beginning its long travels, the beam is firmly clamped to keep it on the straight and narrow. At present, over 10,000 balances leave Mettler's plant in Stefa every year for use in over 70 countries. United States and in Germany, Mettler balances are also being manufactured. In Heightstown, New Jersey, near the Princeton Research Center, and in Gießen, near Frankfurt. Here, over a hundred years ago, the Spürthase firm built balances for Liebig. Now they're making Mettler balances. Doesn't this story sound like a fisherman's yarn? But sometimes fishing pays off. Especially when you get a kick out of it. 